is you need to know when to stop. It's so easy to keep going over the same bits, the same areas, and at the end of the day, with this stuff, we know it's fairly smooth anyway, so we don't have to be OTT with it. So there you go. Um, I'm happy with that. Right, so there you go. Um, that's a demonstration of one side of one board. I think one, two, three, four, five, these six boards have got to do both sides on each board, so it's 12 sides. So uh, you can imagine how long that's gonna take me today, a good hour or so. So what I'll do is I'll post the next stage, which I'll quickly explain. When the filler has dried on all sides, it's a case of simply just going over with, say, instead of a 120 grit, I'll smooth it over with a 180 grit, which is a bit finer, because um, I don't want to take too much off. And then when I'm perfectly happy with the finish and it's perfectly fine, which I'm sure it will be at this stage now, I'm then just going to re-coat it with the acrylic um, primer undercoat. So one thing I need to explain is, so you put, some of you are probably thinking, well, why have you put the primer undercoat on and now you've it, it seems as though you've completely covered it again with filler? Well, the reason being, with the wooden boards, with the OSB boards, until you prime the surface, you don't really notice the spots that need doing and don't need doing. It makes the imperfection stand out. And also, it actually raises grain in timber um for you to then smooth over so if you were to say prime the surface after you've sanded then it will raise the grain after you've already sanded so obviously you're not going to get the desired finish and that's the mistake people make so yeah it may seem like it's a waste of time doing it twice but believe me it's not there is a reason for it uh, so the next stage would be obviously to put the acrylic on uh, after it's been sanded and then we're good to go. It's one or two coats of oil based undercoat. Um, I'm saying that one coat will be sufficient and then a couple of coats of oil based gloss and then we're good to go. We'll let it dry, we'll let it um, yet discolour over say a month or so I'm, pre I'm predicting that it will go yellow in a month kept in a dark room gives it chance to fully harden fully cure and then we're good to go i'm going to be doing all my product testing then and that's the interesting bit basically so i hope these videos have helped you um please subscribe please like the videos if you've got any questions at all do not hesitate to ask um, and it doesn't even have to be related to the the subjects that I've already posted because I'm quite new to this and obviously I need some catching up I need to post more videos more reviews you can ask me any questions relating to painting and decorating and I'm happy to help so I'll see you later see you later guys take care